Hey guys, BreakWizard59 here, and today I'm coming at you with yet another episode of LEGO Star Wars Set Ideas. And today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO Star Wars Set Ideas from the Clone Wars. Now there are so many different sets that um, have yet to be released from the Clone Wars. As over here, I do have 37 different slides of 37 different sets which have yet to be released. And of course, um, like the other videos, I'll be uh, glancing over each one as I don't want to go too much into depth um, in uh, about each set, as that definitely will take quite a time, uh, quite a bit of time. And this video probably will be a bit longer um, than the uh, last two. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have sets from seasons one through season six. Alright, we'll start off here with Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1. Alright, the first set here is um, Dooku Solar Sailor. So basically here what we can have is um, Dooku Solar Sailor, which hasn't been released. Um, but we can also include uh, King Katunko and the Taudarians, um, along with Asajj Ventress and maybe a hologram of Count Dooku. I think this was a very cool scene, especially... Um, to start off all, uh, to start off the Clone Wars series, it would be a great set in Lego. Next off, this is the Separatist landing craft, and this um, I did talk about this in my um, episode one through three set ideas. But basically, this version would be a blue version, so this would be more in terms of the Separatist colors. I um, mean, once again, it should be somewhat of a playset version where you can include some cool features on the inside. Next up, this is um, like Attack on Rhodia. So basically, what this could be is a part of um, Anaconda Far's like uh, 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 city, and you could of course have Padme and like a few droids along with Jar Jar and uh, maybe in his like Jedi form, and you can also have Anaconda Far and Newt Gundrey. Next up, this is General Grievous's lair. Now, basically, for this, we could have like a small section of his lair. Um, like with maybe multiple rooms, somewhat like the Cloud City, where it has multiple rooms which are exposed. One could be the area where uh, Grievous is being um, fixed by the Doctor Droid, and I know we've got a set of that before. We can also have one where it's like his um, replacement parts, and maybe another where it's like the command center, and maybe include uh, Kit Fisto and Adar Veb. Next up, this is Honda Onako's Lair. So basically what we could have here is maybe a portion of his, like a cutout of his lair where the backside is exposed and you can even include some of the um, prisoner areas and maybe like that main uh, mess hall type of area and maybe a couple of cool vehicles, include Dooku, Obi-Wan, and Anakin, along with Hondo. Next off, um, we jump um, to the Rylot trilogy from the Clone Wars Season 1. Now in this, what we can have is, um, this is Wat Tambor's like, palace, which is in the capital city of Ryloth. What we can have here is maybe a snippet of the capital city, which would include Wat Tambor, a minifigure we really do want, and then also maybe a portion of the plasma bridge, which uh, would include um, um, Shams and Dula, along with Mace Windu, and maybe even Commander Pons. Next off, um, another one from the Ryloth series, this is the Trade Federation MTT in the Separatist colors. Um, this was definitely a set many folks have wanted, there have been various custom models, but I'd really love to see one of these made in LEGO, um, by LEGO. Next off, that's actually going to do it, so now we move on to Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 2. We jump right to the um, Geonosis... Um, four part, four episodes, and this is basically a droid factory. Now I talked about this in my episode one through three video, but maybe include a small snippet of the droid factory. Next off, this was the Separatist Super Tank, a very cool vehicle which was seen, I believe, in one of the uh, Geonosis, Attack on Geonosis episodes, I believe it was the second one. Um, and this would be a really cool set to have with its cool features where it can reveal the hidden guns and maybe even fit a couple figures. And this was an awesome vehicle um, and it definitely would be great to see in LEGO. Next off, the Republic Medical Frigate. Now this model, um, we could have either just a regular Republic Medical Frigate or make it a bit more similar to how it was in um, the Genosis episode with like Barriss, Afi, and Ahsoka, along with a few of those clones. Next off, we have the Republic Medical Station, 
Now I know this is definitely a bit of a tougher set to make, so probably a mini model would be best for this. Next off, we have um, General Grievous's um, a flagship. Now what this could include is again similar to the Malevolence, have a bit of a playset version where you can reveal the open the interior and have a cool little um, uh, play area for um, the uh, bridge of the center. And next off, another awesome uh, Separatist vehicle. This is just the regular Separatist cruiser. Um, this would be another cool playset version to have, similar to uh, the Malevolence or the Venator. Next off, this uh, vehicle is like one of the smaller Republic uh, uh, cruisers. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but this is the one where you have the two pilots um, on the bridge who manually control the vehicle. Um, and this has the three engines on the back. Um, this would be, once again, a cool set, a uh, playset version as well to make. Um, it was seen quite a bit, actually, in the Clone Wars. Next off, this is the Death Watch Camp. Now, I know we already got the De Death Watch uh, fighter, but a Death Watch Camp would definitely be pretty cool with a few huts and like, a few uh, uh, exclusive Death Watch members. Next up, this is the cloaking ship, which this was seen in the episode Cat and Mouse, um, where um, Anakin has to deliver supplies to Alderaan, or I believe it was Alderaan, or maybe Christosis, I don't completely remember. Um, but basically, this would be a really cool playset version ship to have. You can include, of course, that cool exclusive um, pilot, which uh, the mini, uh, clone pilot minifigure. You could even include the Separatist leader on the other side, the, I forget what his name is, the one that looks like the spider. Next up, this is the RX-200 uh, class assault tank. Now, this is a really cool vehicle. Um, this was seen in the Zillow Beast episodes. This would be a great set to have, especially playset version. You can include maybe even a brick-built Zillow Beast. Next up, this is the Y-Wing Bomber, except in the red color. A very cool vehicle. We saw this in the Zillow Beast episodes where it dropped the bomb on the Separatist army. A really nice uh, vehicle and would be awesome to see in LEGO. So, that's it for Season 2. We move on to Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 3. So, first off here, this is a bit of a Kamino training center, which we can include the clone cadets. Um, and like heavy fives and all and maybe include this cool like training facility and Overseeing it could be shock T and those two bounty hunters We have not got a shock T minifigure for a bit of time. So that'd be another cool minifigure to add Next up. This is the Trident class assault ship now This um, is basically what they used in Camino. This was part of the season premiere where these ships attacked Camino This would be a really cool set to have um, have the arms on those like uh, joints so they can actually move and be positioned in a certain specific way and have the top section open up um, to reveal some cool interior. Next off, this is a bit of an interesting one. This is like the Zero of the Hut scene. This is like where Cad Bane, Obi Wan, and Quinlan Vos go and like try to track down Zero of the Hut. You can either have um, those cool like hovercrafts they use to navigate the swamps or just maybe a small scene. Uh, Zero the Hut definitely is a cool figure, and we would definitely like to see her made in or him made in Lego. Next up, we got the Citadel. This is an awesome, awesome um, episode series with Evan Peel. Now, this would be a really cool uh, model to make, and what I'm thinking is have um, if you've seen the th Tower of Orthanc from Lord of the Rings, the large black tower. Make it just like that, except the Citadel. So have it open from the back, but really tall, maybe $150 set, but have so many cool features on each floor, and maybe even include the cool uh, separate modified separate shuttle. And actually, one more thing, you can also include, um, what's his name, Grand Moff Tarkin in his Clone Wars version. Next off, this I believe is from the season finale. This is the... Um, scene where let's have a look here this is where um you have like the tran trandoshans um the, those are the species of bosque and this is like that hunting party scene um it'd be a really cool little palace to have and have like ahsoka along with a few of those other padawans and finally this is like the night sisters scene so basically what we can have here is um 
we can have Mother Talzin along with the Knight Sisters and um, um, Ventress. Maybe even in the next season, they have the episodes with uh, where Grievous attacks um, and destroys the Knight Sisters' um, home. That would be another cool scene to have as well. And now this um, is kind of seen throughout multiple series, but this is Dooku's home. This is seen quite a bit in the Clone Wars. This would be a really nice set to have. Um, but yeah, now we move on to season four of Star Wars, the Clone Wars. And we start off with um, over here. So we start off here in season four with the Mon Calamari's homeworld. This would be a really cool set to have, especially um, with the Rift Tamsin, who is the Separatist leader, which you could see here. Include a ton of Aqua droids. Those are really cool droids, which we'd love to see, along with Anakin and Padme in their like um, water outfit, along with the Prince. And then also maybe include Kid Fisto shirtless, which was actually really cool. Um, but now let's go on. We have the Umbaran Outpost, which Ponkrell <clears throat> takes over. Now I already know. There has been headhunters and set with Ponkrell, but this is just like the actual um, outpost which they take over. Maybe you can again include Echo and Fives, and or not Echo, sorry, just Fives in this, and maybe include Jesse, Tubbs, some of the other 501st troopers. Next off, this is one of the uh, Baron like fighters which um, they used actually, which the clones used to destroy the main flagship. This was a really nice vehicle and would be great to see in Lego. Next up, this is the Umbaran Assault Tank, and this was a very unique vehicle. It was like a caterpillar style vehicle, um, and this would be a cool playset version. Um, I think many folks would buy it, have multiples of, um, and that would be a really cool set. Maybe have a few Umbarans, again, a few of the 501st Troopers in the Episode 3 form would be great as well. Next up, this is the Crisis on Naboo. This was, I believe, I'm not sure if this was, yeah, that was the season finale of um, Season 4. Uh, and basically what we can have here is um, like Reiko RD and we can have some of those bounty hunters, like Cad Bane and all, um, and have like a small scene with like the Chancellor Palpatine, Palpatine. Or we can have the scene where Anakin deals Dooku uh, in the Naboo palaces. There you go. Now let's move on to season five. All right, starting off season five, we go to the under uh, the um, Andron series. This is um, where you have like Stila and like Lux Bonteri and all as they try to take back um, their um, homeworld. Now, basically, what you can have here is either like a small scene where you have the rebels um, like Stila and all like have a like battle pack with a few of those rebels and maybe a cool scene, or you can have the palace of the uh, Separatist uh, minister um, who's uh, in control of Andoran. That'd be a really cool set to have. Next off, maybe another scene here. This would be like the droid gunship attack. You could include one of those like animals. You could include Lux, uh, Soka, and Stila, and then the cool droid gunship, which is definitely one we haven't seen in some time. Next off, this is the Republic Attack Shuttle. We need another one of those for sure. And except this time, include Gregor. So this is kind of that um, th those series of episodes where um, R2 and like all those droids, along with that general, go to uh, uh, the go to the planet where Gregor was found. This was like when uh, Gregor was like um, had lost his memory. He ends up coming back at the very end. That'd be a really nice set to have. So many people want Gregor as a clone, and it'd be an awesome set. I feel like many folks will definitely buy it. Next up, another cool one. This is like the duel between Darth Maul and Pre Vizsla. So what we can have here is a, like the actual palace, the uh, main palace of Duchess Satine. You can include Pre Vizsla, you can include Darth Maul, Savasho Press, they can include um, Obi-Wan, a couple of those other Death Watch members, including uh, Duchess Satine's sister. That'd be a really nice set to have and including Darth Maul in his new updated version. Next up, this is Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. We haven't seen this for some time. This would be an awesome set to have. Except this time, make it uh, related to the Mandalorian uh, uh, episodes. Where we have Emperor Palpatine's shuttle, but also include Emperor Palpatine in his Clone Wars Sith Lord version, which is seen on the bottom corner, along with Savage Opress and, Opress and uh, Darth Maul. So it kind of simulates a duel between them. 
And finally, this was um, from the ep last episodes when Ahsoka was a child, and that's kind of what made her leave the Jedi Order. Now, this would be a really cool set to have. Maybe have, like, the prison base and maybe include a couple of vehicles um, along with a few um, uh, shock troopers. That'd be a really nice set to have. All right, now we finally go on to Season 6, and there's actually only one, ep uh, one um, set in Season 6, and, and that is the scene with the uh, fives and tub and uh, rex this was when they find out that tub had that all clones kind of had that chip in them which made them uh execute order 66 but this would be a nice set to have definitely a section of camino and include some of those gray shock troopers they're actually the um camino troopers which would be really cool figures to have all right there you go so that's it for um lego star wars sets that need to be made from the clone wars so definitely very exciting. We went over 37 different Lego sets. They're definitely ones I have not uh, had not um, put in this list um, from certain episodes because basically what I wanted to do in this list is have sets that were um, had some more meaning. Basically, instead of if there was a set that just included was included in one episode in a very specific scene, I didn't include it. I tried to have a, a vehicles that would be. Uh, could be used in many different situations and seen in many different episodes um, and had those type of sets on this. Um, but there you go. So thanks for watching. That's going to actually do it for um, this episode. And there might be Lego Star Wars sets that need to be made for Star Wars Rebels. I do not know yet. We'll have to see um, about that. But thanks for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and thanks so much to all the support I have gotten on the series. This is Break Wizard 59, and I'll see you all next time.